Sheriff Ozzie Knezovich wants to make it easier to fire deputies, and sheriffs around the state are agreeing with him. Representative Kevin Parker is going to sponsor this bill in the legislature this year. KXY 4's Ian Cole joins us live now from the Public Safety Building to explain. Ian? And Colleen, House leadership told Kevin Parker that this could be one of the most high profile bills of the entire legislative session. It basically says that if you're an officer and you break the law, you can be fired. And even if you appeal that, well, an arbitrator cannot overrule that and give you your job back. The legislature could review a bill this month that tells officers around the state if you break the law, you can be fired. And if you lie on the job, you can also be fired. If you um, engage in any illegal activity, that that cannot be turned over by the arbitration process. Local Representative Kevin Parker hopes it will restore Washington's faith in law enforcement, showing they're being held accountable too. When this is a profession that the public dollars pay for and where public trust is paramount, that we need to make sure that that continues. Spoke Kent has seen examples of arbitrators giving deputies their jobs back after breaking the law. Travis Smith, seen here when he was working as a Marine deputy on Lake Court Lane, stopped a woman for a minor traffic infraction and ended up towing her car because her license was suspended. The vehicle was seized, it was searched, and during the search, uh, the deputy stabbed a knife in the passenger seat of the vehicle. Sheriff Knezovich says Smith should have seized the brass knuckles with a knife on the end like this one instead of using the weapon to commit malicious mischief. The woman didn't press charges, but Smith was fired and just this month got his job back. Parker says the bill is to ensure the majority of law enforcement are not brought down by a few bad officers. As any profession, that one or two percent can hurt the reputation of the other 98 or 99 percent. The contact the police guild and unions today were not successful, but Parker knows he'll face opposition. In fact, the Supreme Court ruled several years ago that lying was not a fireable offense. And it's that part of the bill, the lying part, that Parker says he'll spend the next several days on uh, to ensure it is ready to go once it hits the House floor. Reporting live at the Public Safety Building, Ian Cole, KXOY4, HG News.